Hi, this is Danny McFerrin, Engineering Application Specialist. I wanted to take a few minutes to introduce this Spreadsheet API tool to you. It's an application that can link spreadsheet input to the modeling of components in a Tecla model. So what we have here is really an example. It uses a footing rebar component, so it takes a spreadsheet with footing dimensional and rebar input and then controls the footing rebar component in the model. But it's really just an example. Uh, developers could take this and adapt it to a number of other uses, whether it's another rebar component or steel connections or really any component in Tecla. On the download page here, we have at the top the application using footing rebar. And then in the details tab at the bottom, we also have the source code and an example model. So taking a look now at our example model, we've got just a pretty basic model with pad footings in it. And if I look at these footings, we've named each of these either footing number one, two, or three. And that's the way that we have chosen to map the data in our spreadsheet to the model. So looking at our input spreadsheet, we can see we've got a column here for footing name, and that's how we're matching up what data in the spreadsheet goes to what footing in the model. Now when I run the application in the model, I have some options to choose selection filters for my footings and piles, and then I just choose that spreadsheet as the import file. And then down here in the design results section, I can see that it's imported all the data that I have in my spreadsheet, as well as any additional calculations that I might want to do in the code of the application itself. Now if I import all, it's going to use that data in the spreadsheet to populate my footings with rebar. And again, I'm using that footing name. So all of my footings that are labeled as footing one, we're going to use that footing one line. And I can see I've got lighter rebar in the footing one compared to the footing two. And then in footing three, where I have a higher area of steel, um, I've got some heavier bars there. So again, this is just one example of how to link a spreadsheet to component modeling, uh, but you could certainly take the code and modify it for other uses as well. If you have any questions about this, the Tecla developer discussion forum is probably the best place for it. So thanks for checking this out, and I hope this tool can help some of you out.